We'll have a bloopers thing. <laughs> Mike, Father Mike Schmidt, you are on notice. <laughs> Sometimes Father Mike in his videos, he has the bloopers at the start. Yes. He goes into yes, that's right. I was just actually thinking about that. That must be a hoot. Welcome to the Corpus Christi YouTube page. My name is Deacon Richard Conlon, and I'm joined with the pastor of Corpus Christi, Father Bruce John Hamilton. Hello, everyone. In this first episode of our book summary series, we're going to share three key insights from Henry Nouwen's book, A Spirituality of Fundraising. First, Henry Nouwen says that fundraising is essentially a form of ministry. Rather than think of fundraising as some necessary but unpleasant activity to raise funds for something we want to do, Nowen says that fundraising, when it's grounded in prayer and undertaken in gratitude, is essentially a form of ministry in which we get to joyfully invite others to partake in something special for God. Nowen says on page 6, as a form of ministry, fundraising is as spiritual as giving a sermon, entering a time of prayer, visiting the sick, or feeding the hungry. That just leapt out on the page when I read that. I'd never, ever thought of fundraising in that way. Second, Henry Nouwen says that fundraising is a call to conversion. Now this call to conversion is for both those who seek from funds, seek funds, and those who ask for funds. For those who seek funds, this is a call to conversion in which you have to overcome your fear of anxiety about asking for money or the worry about being rejected from other people, or even oftentimes we have this idea of just using wealthy people for their money. So we must overcome this and have a conversion of heart. Fundraising is also a call to conversion for those who have funds. For those who have funds, the opportunities for conversion relates to a sense of power, influence, security, and control that money gives us over our lives the opportunity to place our trust in God instead, and the gift of discovering that you are loved not because of your material wealth, but because of your spiritual value in the eyes of God. This is something a lot of people struggle with, whether they could, it could be because of physical beauty, uh, they struggle with, you know, do people love me for the way I look or for who I really am? And wealthy people also struggle with this now when mentions in his book. Once we are prayerfully committed to placing our whole trust in God and have become clear that we are concerned only for the kingdom, once we have learned to love the rich for who they really are <clears throat> and not so much what they have, and once we believe that we have something of great value to give them, then we have no trouble at all in asking someone for a large sum of money. Very good. And lastly, our third point, Henry Nouwen says that fundraising is a way to build genuine relationships. Now, when we ask for money from others within the context of a bold vision for God and his church, we're actually inviting others into communion with ourself and with God. In this new communion, where the fundraiser is liber liberated to approach fundraising in the freedom of God's love because we are all God's beloved children. All that we have are truly gifts to be received and shared. So we hope that this first in a series of YouTube presentations, uh, book reviews, has been insightful and has been helpful as well. We've certainly learned a lot from reading this booklet and we're pumped about pre presenting this to all of those out there, all of you out there who will be viewing this video. So may God bless you, may He keep you safe, Watch over you and protect you.